Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. I am Orly Shani. Today, uh, we're gonna be doing something that I actually did on the TV show that I work on, Home and Family. I showed how to add these big, oversized, fun sweater sleeves to a denim jacket, so it becomes like a mixed material item. The original inspo was this jacket here, and I just loved it. I thought it was so cool. The big, oversized sleeves really do a lot to um, make this look like you're not just wearing like a sweatshirt or something under a vest. You really want it to look like it's the materials are sewn together and mixed. I just thought it was so cool. It's so cozy. It's perfect for this weather. So I want to show you guys how to do it. And I'm going to be using a vest that I have. So I'm not going to demo how to cut the sleeves off. You just want to cut them as close to the shoulder seam as possible. But since I'm starting with a vest, I'm not going to show you that. So let's, um, let's do materials. <laughs> When you go shopping for your sweater, the, the main thing you wanna focus on is really long sleeves. So look in the like men's section is probably where you're gonna find the best oversized really long sleeve sweaters. Um, if your sweater is not as long like mine, the sleeves are not as long as I want, what you wanna do is put on your jacket once the sleeves are removed, put your measuring tape up to the shoulder and kinda of run it out and look. If I look at it, I wanna make sure mine is about 25 inches long. So I'm gonna measure my sleeve as it is now from the true shoulder, and I'm only 21 and a half. So I wanna add about three inches into this space. So I'm gonna turn this part into my sleeve, even though officially my sleeve is here. If this is enough room for you, you're just gonna remove the sleeve and you'll join us in a second. I'm going to add in a little extra, so this is how you would do that. Take off your vest and put it on top of your sweater, just like this. I wanna be 25 about, I might go even longer than that. I'll go right here to 26. So let's make a little mark. And I'm gonna cut right here and extend it down to here. All of this will get taken in so that it fits, but we'll do that after. So take the denim jacket and you're basically gonna use your fabric scissors to cut the sweater sleeve along the line of your jacket sleeve. Lay the first one on top of the other side so you can use it as a guide. Make sure that your cuffs are lined up straight and then just cut it along the exact same line. Now we have two sweater sleeves with the extension. This is that excess that we needed to take out of our sleeve. So you can see there, you can see everything below the underarm is what needs to go. So just give yourself a little pinpoint, a marking, flip it inside out, and from that point all the way down the sleeve, you're gonna gradually remove it. But you don't wanna take out too much excess. So start off at your two inches and then gradually kind of join the existing seam. Cut off any excess and then flip the sleeves inside out and they are ready to be pinned into the jacket. So lay them into the jacket and you can see I actually flipped them backwards so that the same matching color is on the front and that blue is on the back. Start by pinning your shoulder and your underarm and then evenly distribute all the excess. At this point you'd want to try it on, make sure it all fits right, make any adjustments and then we're going to stitch. Now the existing stitch line is what you want to follow, that way you don't even notice it. So swap out your thread for a matching color and just keep that needle right on top of the old stitch line so basically you don't even see it. Now cut off any excess. I have a little bit because when I tried mine on I needed to pin out a little bit. So I cut off the excess, remove my pins, and I'm good to go. 